Hi, this is Ryan with Iron Planet Hobbies, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up the logic using JMRI to control the grade crossing simulation that we have set up here on the DR4024. What's happening here is we are using the 4088 occupancy detector to control our grade crossing over here. And just a short demonstration here as I touch the track. You can see the lights flashing there and the grade crossing is activated. Now, as soon as I let off the track, occupancy is gone and the grade crossing returns to its normal state. Now, I will show you how this is done on the computer. Okay, over here on the computer, I just want to run through a few things that might be helpful in getting this set up. First thing I would do is pull up my local net monitor and then go ahead and occupy one or more of the blocks that you want to trigger the grade crossing. I have just done the one that I have set up here and as you can see it reads back sensor LS1 is high and here is LS1 is low. This is the only number or letters and number combination that we care about at this point which is this particular sensor ID. Uh, the rest of this stuff here is just showing sensor inputs that could be from a BDL board or DS64, SEHC, or other devices that have input sensors. Okay, once we now have the IDs here of the block that we are going to use, we can go ahead and close out the local net monitor. Then under your tools, go to tables, and here are your sensors. And in this group, you can see I have 32 sensors listed. That's because there are two separate occupancy boards, each with 16 inputs. So make note again of the one that you have on here. And then now what we want to do is set up the logics that will make all of this work. And the logics, you can get to it over here on the side, or you can also get to it from tools, tables, and just come down to logics right here. I have one in here for the crossing, and I will show you how that is set up. So in order to edit one of these that's already in here, you actually come over here and hit the select button. Brings down a drop down menu, and then we're going to edit it. And here's just the name I set up for this, and this takes two separate entries uh, to make the grade crossing work. There may be an easier way. I don't know what it is, but this is the way I've done it, and it's fairly easy to set up. So let's go ahead and edit this first one. And this is where the heart of the logics takes place. The first thing we have here is the sensor. The sensor state is reading false, and this is reading real time uh, if you have everything connected up to the layout. When we edit this, you can see the variable type we want is sensor. The system name is LS1 that we had from before. Variable state, active. Close that out. Down here, we want to choose the AND. And then we want this to execute actions whenever triggered. And this is what actually takes place when the block is occupied. And what it's going to do is set a turnout, which is LT30 to thrown. And that is what begins our grade crossing uh, animations. And we'll go ahead and edit this. Action group here is turnout. You can see there's other things that could be selected, but turnout is the one that we want. LT30 is our turnout name. And what do we want it to do right here under action type is set turnout and we want to set it to the throne position and we want it to be when it is triggered true and we'll close that out and let's close this out and we will look at crossing number two so let's edit this one and 
we can edit this one. Basically, all this is is the exact opposite of what we just set up on the first one. So it still stays with sensor. It's still the same sensor name, LS1. And this time, it's when it becomes inactive, it's going to tell it what to do. So when we come down here and edit this, it's going to be the turnout 30 is this time. It's setting it to closed when, again, it's triggered to true. And the AND right here in the execute actions whenever triggered all remains the same. And then you have to update conditional right down here at the bottom to finish this. Once you have updated it, then everything will work. And just to show you here what it looks like, on the monitor, we will pull the local net monitor back up, and I will go ahead and occupy the block and unoccupy the block. So here the sensor goes high, and you can see it throwing the switch LT30 to thrown. Output is on. LS1 here is low. That's when I unoccupied the block, and it is now throwing it to closed. And that is what animates your grade crossing. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks again for watching.